we got to go really slow because there's a lot of big stumps in here. It looks like it's only about maybe a foot deep at best. We've got a nice little bass boat to get us through. But the key is we want to get all the way to the back, way back there where those cypress are. If we can get back there, we think there's going to be some crappie back there waiting for us. Black male. See how dark that fish is? That's a male. Check that dude out there. That's a nice one. He's got a split tail on him. See that? That's a nice fish. That's what the short is going to like. A cat. It's an old cat fish, boy. Look at that. Crappy and cat fish. On the shore through this month. Channel cat. He hit like he was going to be a good one. He did. Oh, channel cat. Nice fish. Down there, my nose. Nice fish. Look at that chartreuse money he just spit out. You see it? No, I wasn't paying attention. That's a look nice slab. Look at, look at that man in the water. Oh, yeah, there out. it is. Look. He just spit it out. Yep. He likes it. There it is. Yeah, boy. He's going to get eaten again. Look at that big boy right there, fellas. Woo. That's a good one. Alabama River Crappy, baby. I'm going to show you guys how we're going to dye some minnows today. We're going to use two colors today. We're going to use gold, and we're going to use chartreuse also. We're going to see what the, what these fish want the best today. Uh, I'm going to show you guys how we do it real quick. We're going to take one bottle of dye to three bottles of water, and uh, that's, that's the ratio that we're going to use that works the best. So I'm gonna pour this bottle of dye in. Nice orange, goldish. With three bottles of water. One. Two. Three. I'm gonna repeat this process again with every bottle I add. You can put two or three bottles if you have a lot of minutes to dye. There's a second bottle. One, two, three. Very important to have an aerator on, on these uh, minnows when you're dying them also. We got our aerator down in there. I'm gonna come to my minnow bucket here and just get a few minnows out. How many ever I wanna die. Nice little, there's probably a couple dozen there. We got an actual chartreuse one in here that we died earlier, yesterday actually, and look, he's still as chartreuse as he was yesterday. That's how, that's how well they hold their color. All right, so we got us a nice couple dozen. We're gonna pour them right in that dye. I'm gonna put a few more in there actually. Get our aerator down on them. We're gonna let those sit for about 30 to 45 minutes, somewhere in there. And then those minnows will be good to go. Um, they'll, they'll be, you know, orange, goldish color. And uh, they they sell a minnow called a, a rosy red. And I'm telling you, you can't hardly find them. This right here is just as good, if not better, than a rosy red. Very, very, very good for crappie fish. There goes one right there. Oh. Not bad. Oh yeah. Crappie right there. Healthy. No Alabama River. Male. Big fish, man. Big fish. Get that net up on oh. that fish, dude. Uh uh, don't miss that thing, fish boy. That's that fish. There you go. Nice. That's a slab, boy. That, my friends, is a two pound Alabama slab. That is a big fish. Big fish. Look at that. That fish goes from my fingertip almost to my elbow. Woo! Not a bad one at all. Good little fish. Oh yeah. Nice. 
Nice. Look at that baby. But what we're doing is flipping these corks around these cypress stumps and it's a big flat, you know, and, and what we're trying to catch is these females coming in to, to, to bed, to spawn. And uh, we've already caught several males and, uh, you know, hopefully when the, when the water warms a little bit more today with the sun, we're, we're hoping those females will come in also and we can catch a little, little bit bigger fish in, in those females. Oh, yeah. Got a bass? Come on with it, Isaac, get that net. He's got in his hand. Good fish, bro. Yeah, that's a good one, man. Look at that one. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. That's a slab, boys. Man. Thank you, boo. Big blank, big male. Big old male. That's a pretty fish right there, boy. Lord have mercy. Look at that joker. Alabama. I'm push it now. He smoked it. That's short for his mouth, man. As soon as it hit the water, he took it. That's a big large mouth, man. Nice fish. He's in the radio. Come back. Nice fish, dude. Thank you, Bill. Hey, look at that old large mouth. Boy, he's pretty. Guys, I'm going to show you a little bit about our setup today and what we're using. We're using a slip cork rig, very simple. This is a slip knot. You can get it at any sporting goods store. Just a, a, a little slip knot and it comes on a little tube. And what we're going to do, we just take our line first, feed it through the tube, pull it out. And what we're going to do is take the knot and slide it off the tube onto the line, just like so. And then you can discard the tube. Once it's on our line, we take each end, each tag end, and pull it tight. Now, that allows that, that knot to slide up and down our line. And what we'll do is get a good pull on it to get it pretty tight. And then we'll clip the ends off with scissors, or as I do it with my teeth, I'll just bite it. Just bite each end, leave, leave a little bit See how I leave a little bit there where I can tighten it later if I need to. So I'll bite this other end. Okay, that's what it looks like once you have it on. So now I'll just slide it up a little bit. Come down here. Next is my cork. Thread that through my slip cork. Let it hang. Then I put my hook on. I tied just a regular loop knot with my hook, tag end up, make a loop with my finger. I tie this and my jigs the same way. Make you a little loop and pull it tight. Then I bite my tag end off. That's what it looks like. Last but not least, my split shot. I want a small, a big enough split shot to sink my minnow through that slip cork, but not too big. So the smaller you can get away with, the better on the on the uh, split shot. I'm gonna put it about a foot up my line here. I'll crimp it, then we'll get the pliers and squeeze it off. Squeeze it, give it a good little squeeze. This is what the whole setup looks like. Okay, so when you cast, that, that knot will rest on your split shot, or the cork will rest on your split shot, and when you throw in the water, whatever depth you have the knot at, that weight's going to pull it up and stop it at that depth. So that rig's at about two feet right now. If I want to fish three feet, I'll come here, take my knot, pull it up the line about a foot. Now when it goes in the water, I've got an extra foot. That's three feet. Very simple rig, but very effective. Oh, good fish. I got mine. Bigger than that. Nice. Yeah. A little male. I'm gonna try to spawn a little bit. Yeah, dude. I mean, this is bigger than anything we got. Big fish. Big white. Big female. Female, Alabama River. 
pretty, pretty, pretty. Guys, one good thing about Potsky's fire dye that I love, uh, it dyes these minnows real well, but the best thing about it to me is when I spill it on my boat, which you're gonna spill a little bit, it's a water-based formula. It comes up with a rag and water. I mean, that, that's, I just got through dyeing these minnows. That's on my boat, I take a rag, right up that stuff comes right up off your boat i mean it doesn't take much I said, what about that on your shirt oh yeah it'll come on off too look at there perfect good deal